Hello and welcome to The Pig Edge, Chagas Pig podcast with me, Kieran Carroll, bringing you all the latest news, information and advice to keep Irish pig farmers up to date. And for this episode, we're looking at the National Pig Herd Performance for 2020 with Jared McCutcheon, Specialist Pig Advisor, based at Oak Park. And I first asked Jar to tell us about the Chagas eProfit Monitor Pig Recording Programme and explain why it's useful for the management of pig farms. As you know, the Chagas uh, Profit Monitor is mainly, mainly used on pig farms um, to help farmers see where the problems are on their farm. And if the, if the performance is as good as it should be, or are there any problem, problem areas there? Um, most farmers will use it on a quarterly basis so that they will submit data to their advisor every 13 weeks and um, have that data analyzed then uh, and uh, speak with their advisor on the performance. And uh, uh, the main performance criteria that you look at would be the sow performance, the feed performance, and then the financial performance of the farm. And if there are any areas that are not achieving targets, well, then uh, they're the areas to focus in, uh, on in terms of improvements. Okay, good. And I gather you've just compiled the 2020 figures. Would you like to give us an overview of the herds involved in, in, in that compilation? Yeah, um, I, each year around this time of the year, we compile the, the national uh, figures. And this year we had 88 herds uh, included in that uh, with an average herd size of 799 sows. Now that's uh, compiling up to about oh, just over 70,000 sows which is close on 50% of the uh, Irish pig herd. Now, normally each year we, we, when we do this, um, you know, we look at the overall uh, representativeness of the, uh, the, the um, data. And we're down a little bit this year because of COVID, believe it or not, because um, the, there were a number of farms whereby the advisors weren't able to actually go out and collect the data. The range in, in size, Kieran, sorry, in, in, in that, uh, far, and those farms is really for anything from uh, probably over 100 sows up to over 2,500 sows. So it's representative of, of the national herd, yeah. Good. Uh, you mentioned earlier about sow performance, one of the, the, the key areas that you look at. What were the key performance indicators of sow performance for 2020 and, and how did they change? We, all, we often talk about the number of pigs produced per sow, and this really is the number of pigs that are born alive, minus all of the mortalities on the farm. Now, in 2019, it was the first year we achieved over 14 pigs born alive. We were at 14.12 pigs born alive in 2019. In 2020, we went further than that, and we're up at 14.26 pigs born alive. Our litters per sow improved in 2020, uh, up to 2.31 litres per sow from 2.28 in 2019. And the mortality figures also improved. So we went, uh, the, uh, the number of pigs produced per sow on the average herd was 27 and a half, 27.5 pigs per sow per year in 2020, which uh, is a great improvement relative to 2019. We're, we're below 27 pigs per sow. That's mainly as a result of the number of uh, litters per sow improving, as I said, from 2.28 to 2.31, the number born alive improved, and the mortalities uh, actually improved in terms of they reduced. Uh, so our mortality, our piglet mortality was 11.1 in 2020. Our weaner mortality dropped to 2.76, and our finisher mortality remained static at 2.67 in 2020 versus 2019. Okay, so all positive on, on the south side. And if you were to break down a, a bit further, if you were to look at the average versus, say, the top 25% of farms in terms of pigs per sow per year, what are we seeing? Yeah, the top 25% of farms on pigs per sow per year are achieving 30.2 uh, pigs per sow. And that's really coming from uh, a higher born alive. Uh, the top 25% of herds achieved uh, over 15 pigs per litter uh, born alive. 15.04. They achieved 2.34 litres per sow and their, their mortalities uh, were lower. The piglet mortality on the top 25% of herds was 10% versus 11.1 .1 on the average herds. The weaner mortality was 2.13 versus 2.76 on the average herds and the finisher mortality was at 2% versus 2.67 on the average herds. So 
Um, overall, their, their figure at 30.2 pigs produced per sow, it's a, it's, a, it's a huge figure. It's a great figure. Sure is, absolutely. So if, if then we're to move on to the, the grower pig, Ger, how did the performance go for the growers in, in 2020? Year on year, Kieran, and over all of the years we've compiled these figures, our live weight at sale and our dead weight, weight at sale is going up. In 2020, our live weight at sale was 115.3 kilos live weight and a dead weight of 88.2 kilos. So the average daily gain uh, achieved from weaning to sale, and we generally talk uh, about the, the figure of uh, when the pig is weaned at seven kilos up to the sale weight, because we can capture that data uh, very clearly. The average daily gain improved on farms from 724 grams per day in 2019 to 735 grams in 2020. And the feed conversion also improved in 2020 from uh, 2.44 uh, from weaning to sale in 2019 up to 2.4 in 2020. So overall, it's been a very positive year on that side of things. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. And again, looking at the grower and the top 25% uh, of firms, what have we seen there? I'm sorry to be throwing all these figures at you, but the, the top 25% uh, of herds achieved a feed conversion from weaning to sale of 2.26 versus the average, as I said earlier, of 2.4 uh, feed conversion. And um, the only thing I'd say there is that their, their uh, performance, that, that's a phenomenal uh, feed conversion, 2.26, uh, but they sold their pigs a little bit lighter. Their, their sale weights were uh, 4.1 kilos lighter than the average herd. So they sold their pigs at 111.2 kilos live weight and 3.4 kilos uh, lighter at, uh, um, as, uh, as carcasses as well. So uh, the, as I said, the weaning to sale figure captures all of the data for each herd. So it's a, um, it's a very clear, uh, useful uh, parameter to, to compare herds with. And uh, in 2020, the top 25% achieved 2.26 feed conversion from weaning to sale. That's a phenomenal performance as well. Um, so if we move on then to costs, and I suppose start with the big one, we all know that feed is a major cost in pig production. Uh, can you tell us what the feed costs were in the average in the top 25% of farms in, in 2020, Ger? Yeah, It's funny when you look at this one, Kieran. Um, the average feed price uh, was 105.4 cent, uh, so per kilo dead weight. So... Um, and that has been a very good, let's say, that's a very good uh, feed cost. It's going up, as we know, currently. Um, but um, the top 25% of herds um, probably achieved probably two cent better than that. But you would say at their feed conversion, you'd expect that it would be much higher. And the reason that it's not so higher, so much higher is that they used, they sold the lighter pig and they used less feed to, pig, to bring those pigs up to that weight. But because of the sale of the, the lighter pig um, and the very good pig price, the uh, potential profit that they, that they would receive uh, was reduced as a result of that. So there's only, there's only two cents of a margin or, uh, of an improvement on the, on the uh, pigs from the top 25% on feed conversion for last year. But that's because last year was a record year in terms of the pig price received by pig farmers that won. Uh, 76 cent per kilo dead weight yeah and so the, the the sale weight is king kind of in that kind of circumstance i suppose um looking at the other costs then Ger, were there any major changes in the other the non-feed costs the we look at all of the the, the non-feed costs and these items would include health care heat power and night ai repairs and a lot of other items that we tried to uh, collect the data on and um in most cases, they have remained the same. The healthcare costs went from 6.2 up to 6.6, which probably is an, an indication of uh, maybe more, more um, attention being paid to pigs because of, of extra vaccines or, or, or work on that side of things, um, given that that uh, performance and, and profitability is much greater on the farms. Uh, heat power and light went up a little bit, 3.8 up to 4.3 cent. Uh, AI stayed the same. Repairs. And you, see, you often see when, when 
the profitability in pig farming goes up, the repairs on farms gets uh, uh, increases also, that farmers have, have a bit more money to spend and doing uh, need, needed repairs on the farm. The repairs went up from 2.7 up to 3.2 uh, cent per kilo dead weight. And I suppose the big one, probably in terms of the figures that we're seeing coming through, is that the labor management went up from 15.1 to 15.9 cent. Now, what I'd be more inclined to think is that that's probably capturing more people, including their own uh, labor on their on their farms, whereas previous previously they mightn't include their own labor to the extent that they should have. And just a, a matter of interest, how long have you been compiling the data, Jar, for the profit monitor? You know, and what are the trends shown over the years in terms of pigs produced per sow per year, for example? Yeah, we we have well over twenty years um, performance compiled, and it's it's a great database to look at. Um, now, I'm always wary when we when we talk about it because while we have it there, probably over those twenty years, the the farms have some of the farms may have changed. A good portion of the farms will be consistently there for that time time period, but you may have uh, some new farms coming in and some farms leave, uh, leaving the system as such. But when you look at the overall figures. Um, and a good year to compare it with is year 2000, which is 21 years ago. The number of pigs produced per sow back in, in the year 2000 was 21.6 pigs per sow per year. And now we're up at 27.5 on, on the average herd. The born alive in uh, the year 2000 was 10.85. Um, and as I said earlier, we're at 14.26 born alive this year. And interestingly, it's very uh, I didn't round this figure off. In, in, in the year 2000, the average daily gain from wheeling to sale was uh, 585 grams in, uh, in the year 2000. And we're up at 725 gra 735 grams rather uh, in 2020, or, or 150 grams exactly uh, higher now than we were 21 years ago. So. Uh, the other other item that I would certainly say we should uh, highlight is that the sale weight of pigs back in uh, the year 2000 was at 90.1 kilos, whereas now we're up at 115.3 kilos live weight. And that would have contributed uh, very, very definitely to the output per sow that we're looking at now. The output in kilos of pig meat per sow is at two uh, 2.4 tons now, 2426 uh, uh, kilograms per sow in 2020, whereas in the year uh, 2000, that was at 1471 uh, kilos, or 40% less. So again, all of those trends are, are showing output per sow is increasing and performance uh, is also increasing. The last figure, Kieran, uh, which, is, which is a very interesting one as well, is um, often you're asked, what is, you know, in terms of all of these figures, what's a very useful figure to, to look at? On the feed side of things, the kilos, the number of kilos of, of feed that you use to produce a kilo of carcass uh, is a very interesting one because it includes your, the, you know, the feed that you also feed to your sows as well as the feed per, per, per pig. And in the year 2000, the kilos, uh, you, it, each farmer or the average farm required 3.66 kilos of feed to uh, produce one kilo of pig meat. And in the year 2020, it's the first year we've achieved 3.5 kilos of feed uh, to produce one kilo of carcass. So improving all the time. That's improving that's brilliant time. performance. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And Ger, in terms of this, this data, OK, the farms have their individual results and analysis. Is there any way that they can benchmark their figures against the, the national average and against the top performing farms? Yes, well, each year we produce an infographic, which is really a summary of the key performance indicators um, that, we, that we've mentioned here. And also we produce uh, the annual report, uh, the national uh, and, uh, performance report, which we will, uh, we're compiling and, and uh, each farmer should receive those through the post over the next two to three weeks. In terms of international benchmarking, uh, we, we can compare those um, with uh, the interpig uh, data, which comes later in the year, and we feed our, our, our figures into the interpig uh, data, and we, we can see what the Dutch and the Danes and all of the other uh, uh, international countries are, are doing in terms of their performance. We're still chasing them a little bit, but we are catching up slowly but surely. 
Good, yeah. So we can benchmark nationally and internationally. Yes, that's excellent. Yes. That's great. That's great, Jerk. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks a million. No problem. Thank you very much, Kieran. My pleasure. That's it for the latest episode of The Pig Edge. And my thanks to Jerk McCutcheon for joining me on the show. Don't forget to rate, review and subscribe on Apple Podcasts or Spotify so you never miss a show. And for more information on farming, go to chagas.ie. I'm Kieran Carl, and thanks for listening. <laughs>